When building a fence on varying terrain, can you keep the top of that fence straight or do you need to follow the slope of the ground? Stay tuned as we dig into this week's Frequently Asked Question. This is Joe Evers, the fence expert. My family has been perfecting their way of building fence for over 60 years, three generations. While there's more than one way to build a fence, I'm here to share with you our way. In many parts of the world and the United States, the terrain is flat, meaning the top of the fence can remain straight and follow the terrain. Here in the Midwest, we don't have that luxury. We often have to choose between the top of the fence being straight or following the terrain. So how do we choose? The two choices often look a little like this. You can have a fence with a nice straight top line, but you're often left with small gaps under the fence. Or you can build a fence that follows the terrain but again, you don't have a straight top line and you still end up with gaps underneath the fence. When given these two choices, we often elect for option number one. Keep the nice straight top line of the fence because naturally that's where a human's eye goes. It looks for straight lines and 90 degree corners. And then we would suggest filling in a gap with either more soil and seed to level the land or base rock, basically something to fill that gap but keep a nice straight top line of your fence. Sometimes option one simply isn't an option because the terrain is far too varied. If you were to keep this fence line straight, you'd be left with a sizable gap at the bottom, in which case you would want to stair step the fence while filling the gaps in between with something again, dirt and grass seed, rocks, or something that you think is more in liking to your surroundings. There's also a third option, and it's my favorite option. When you build a fence on site, meaning you're building a custom fence, you can actually build that fence to accommodate the varying terrain. So rather than have a straight line top, but leave a gap at the bottom, or stair step it, again leaving a gap, you can build that fence to follow the varying terrain. Now, it's important to note that sometimes there will be smaller gaps in between the sections, but you generally don't end up having to fill it with large amounts of dirt, soil, or gravel. Custom is always the best option. So to wrap this up, when we're talking about the top line of a fence, you really have three options. If you're using pre-built fence panels though, you're really limited to the first two. You can either have a straight top line with a gap at the bottom, or you can have a stair step top with a gap at the corners. The third option is my favorite. It's building the fence on site, custom to the terrain, so that you can actually follow the terrain with the top line and not leave a sizable gap at the bottom. And there you have it, another answer to one of our most frequently asked questions. If you have more questions about the fence installation process, check out our video series dedicated to answering your frequently asked questions.